Okay, we are on 6111 Lucky Run, and that's L U C K E Y Run. So, a uh, little bit closer into town, just off of 90. This is uh, a little bit more of a mature neighborhood. I think the homes are maybe just a little bit older than the other two that we've seen. Um, I kind of like it. I, I feel like this one is uh, just a little bit more established. Uh, we do have like a little park over there. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a play, like a slide and stuff like that over there. So, um, this is a cool little house. Another one story. Oh, we've got brick on the front. Two car, one door. Um, we begin lucky. I haven't seen any cracks or anything above the garage door. Usually we see that. Looks like we've got some fresh caulking in here. That's nice. Uh, hardy board on the side. We've got some flagstone work. Uh, Blackstone rock here. Driveways, good shape, no cracks or anything. So you've got a little bit of garden action here going on. I don't see any plants, but okay, so this house is um This, sorry, I just got a call right now. This house is a little dark. <clears throat> so they've got two windows on in the living room and then they've got these really thick curtains. So it blocks the light. So we do have some light coming in here. I like the little bump out that we've got here. This looks pretty cool. You can see how it kind of like bumps out this way. So they've got a cool little dining area here. I would probably change this light fixture. Kitchen. So we've got Formica countertops here too, but they look like they're in good shape and they're not just like a bland beige color. Cabinets look nice and clean. Electric stove. We've got a little We've got a little crown up here on the cabinet work. We've got the arch, refrigerator. So the kitchen is kind of like, it goes long wise this way. Let me, let me step over here and uh, get a better look. See how it's kind of goes this way. some arches see it's kind of dark We've got kind of this vaulted ceiling action with this beam that goes across flooring feels like it's vinyl yeah I think this is like another vinyl plank So we've got a flex room right here. French double French doors with some glass windows. Looks like they're using it as an office. Oh, now one thing that I do see is that they've got a window unit here. And I'm wondering why do they have a window unit when they have AC? It's just like styrofoam. It's not very much insulation. I would imagine the AC works pretty good unless they just really like this room like super cold. So you could probably convert this into a bedroom somehow. You've got a closet already. You've got a closet and a window. So let's continue looking at the living room. Good space. Your garage, your out, your, your, your back door is right here. You know what would be cool? Like to put like some trim right here. Let's like do a little bit of casing. You know, like a piece of trim right here and then like right here. That would be cool.
so bathroom number one, we've got 12 by 12 tiles, shower panel. Looks pretty clean. Is that a bidet? It's long enough for two two sinks. But it's also good to have some space here for like makeup and hair dryers and stuff like that. So here's something that I'm already catching. Uh, the trim work is good. I like the trim work here. Uh, so like if you look at the attic door, you don't even see the joint. Like that's how tight it is. Where is it? Where's the joint? I think it goes that way. Let me see. Yeah, so like that's good. Like you, I can't even see the the joints where they come together. That's great craftsmanship. The paint on here is good. I even want to say this is like it feels like an oil, but it's probably an acrylic. Good sized little room. Looks like it's a nurse nursery of some sort. Yeah, I can see why these people are looking to move. They're they're busting at the seams. The paint on the doors is I like it. Okay. So this room's a little tight. A little bit. Let me see. One, three, four, like five, almost five steps that way. One, two, three, four, five, like five and a half this way. I don't know what that light switch is for. Oh, probably for the attic. Okay, master bedroom, good size. I do like that they have French doors going outside to the backyard. I would imagine, like you see something like that and I'm thinking, okay, there's a pool back there. Look at this tub, how big it is. And then I noticed that they have it, they put a trim around the panel. That's nice. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking military, married to, let's see. So we'll take a look outside. We'll go out the back door. House feels nice and cool too. I like that they have the air down. Baseboards, uh, they're not like your regular type of baseboards that you see, so this is probably a little bit of an upgrade, maybe. Closet. Gosh, and the door. Okay. So, backyard is a little bit of an unusual shape. Narrow here, and it kind of widens as we go. Um, shed, party board, siding.
There's a main road behind us. This fence will be taken care of by the HOA or by the community. All the lines for the AC look good. Specs, Lennox. Okay. So here's your master bedroom. So it's kind of a little bit awkward that you have to come to your through your back door, I mean your bedroom to get to your patio slab or walk around through the side. They've got these roll down shades west is that way. It's pretty cool. Be cool if there was a door right here though. Banana trees. So this is build this is builder installed, but this is not builder grade. This is an upgrade. I can tell because the seal the seal is still original. Like otherwise, if they upgraded this, you would be able to see where the old or original light fixture is. Probably would have wiped that down a little bit. Some scratches here, not too bad. Let's repaint. The doors always get a lot of wear. Okay. So we've gone through the entire house. I think we still need to go through the garage. No step down. This, oh yeah, there is a little step down right here. Okay. Walls are finished, no tape and float, and it's even painted. That's good, that's gonna help with the um, lifetime. Cause if it's just, if it's just sheetrock and it's tape and float, it's so humid here in San Antonio that that mud at the joints will start, the tape will start coming apart and stuff. So you always wanna paint your garage if you can. The water, dang it, water here is way back there. Tank is a little small. And it's electric, even though there's a gas stove. Self-closing hinge. And handles. Okay, so we're done here. I think we've got a good idea of what this one is. I like the flooring on it. 